Okay, it's me once again. I have eaten a bit, uh, pretty much lived the definition of a bio break. Ate, drank, used the bathroom, breathed, you know, you know how it goes. And I realized when I said, oh, we're done with all the sprites in the game. Look at this. It's just a gray background. There's no, like, there's no background on this. Uh, so I might just make it like a single color uh, and call it done. Um, yeah, for the, let me pull up my reference image. For the lives, we can just use the wizard again, but just like smaller. That was, that's a classic arcade maneuver. Just use the player character to show how many player characters you have left. Um, yeah. Although that doesn't really make sense with the higher damage, right? How come that hit took two wizards off of me? So maybe I'll just do a, a bar instead, a progress bar. Or notches, like in Metroid. But both of those won't really require spriting. Oops. There we go. Okay. What next? Let's make the spells. Because those are... I don't know what they are. I got nothing for you. Why can I not? Does right clicking here not do anything? Okay. So what is a spell? A spell is a collider with a sprite and some movement logic. Okay, that seems sensible. And it needs to, it's not gonna collide, it's just gonna overlap things. So we can do this. Let's focus on it for a second. And then let's give it a sprite, a sabaraitu. We'll give it, uh, I don't know, let's just do fireball. Okay, then we'll group it. Move it over here so we have a reference. Well, how high did I scale this one? Four? Okay, that looks right. What? How can I move you? I thought the group was... Oh, they're selectable. So if I just... Uh -huh. So if I click on you, it selects the parent. Okay, that's sensible. And then let's make you a circle. Hmm. Mm. Square. Uh huh. Sure. <clears throat> Little bit of leeway on the edges. I don't like this. Let's make it a circle. And then we will move it. Okay, great. So that's the fireball. It has no movement logic, but that's okay. Oh, I gotta, gotta freaking, gotta, ah, uh, gotta write a script for it. Okay. Let's call it spell. <laughs> that seems okay. Um, class name, 
Uh, okay, and we will need movement, movement, logic. And this will be some class we haven't defined yet. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Make a string for now. Okay, so it all, and then we need damage. Okay, so that's movement logic, damage, and then movement logic. Well, let's see. Doesn't need to be that complex. Can it just be like speed? And scaling over time? That's kind of the only things I care about, right? So yeah, let's do that. And then, yeah. Oh, I also need it. It also needs to know what element and form it is. Yeah. Um, that's fine. I think we can subclass this. Maybe? There's kind of two ways to do it. One, we can subclass it, save it as a scene, and then in caster, we'll just call that scene. Um, but I kind of don't want to do that. I think I should just instantiate the same object, but I can set the element, the cast type, based on what the caster knows. But then I'd have to set all of these for all nine. It seems like it would make more sense to just make them individual scenes. Yeah, so for, yeah, okay. Element, we can do faster dot element. Element, do you work? Holy cow. And then export uh, form. Okay, so now for fireball, we can set fire now. Um, what? Spell on line three. Oh, that's fine. What? Wait, why are you complaining about that? Is that actually a problem or is that an old error? I think that was an old error. Okay. Uh, we don't... Ooh, I'll need a... Identity, right? Because, how do I know whose spell hit who? I guess it doesn't really matter. We can always some spawn it in, like in front of them. And then it won't matter. Yeah, we'll roll with that for now. So, essentially if we spawn it in like right here, it's not colliding with this guy, right? So we won't have to worry about identity. Essentially, if anything overlaps you, um, then take damage, sorry. But that's how life works too, right? If I'm holding a bomb, like I'm, I'm dead, brother. There's no getting around it. Okay, so we can simply move. Are you... No, you're gonna make me do it. Also, let's do this as... Um... Physics process. Speed. Okay. 
Okay. Ah. Hmm, makes sense. Do I want things to move side to side? That might be interesting. To essentially influence the casting direction. Yeah, all right. Um, okay, so let's try it. We'll make positive Y. You can't see this. But it's also not doing anything. Oh wait, no, I think it's just really slow. I thought I saw it tick. So maybe we'll make this like 10. And then try it again. Okay, I'll wait. OBS? Yeah, it's working. That's nice, I suppose. But also, that's not quite what I care about. Um, what I really want is direction. So what is Z? Where are my axes? Are these them? What is it? Like transform.basis or something? What the heck? Hmm. We'll just do direction. Uh huh. Didn't work. Classic. Oh, because speed is probably zero. Yeah. Okay, now we're now we're cooking. It's moving. You can't see it because OBS is slow. There we go. Um, okay, we'll make it faster. Wow, look at it go. Uh, we'll make it even faster. And then it doesn't scale over time. It does two damage. It's fire and it's narrow. Okay, great. Scale. What is apply scale? Oh. I'm not sure why I would do that. Okay. This should be zero. So what does this do? Ah. Why is I can't Come on, man. Oh wait, do we? Is there a one? Oh, let's go. Okay. Whoa! You couldn't see it. Well, now you can. So, is that fine to? Also, that should probably multiply by delta. Maybe that's why. Okay, I liked that. You couldn't see it, um, but it looked pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Is that chill to have on the parent? I think so. Hmm. Is that all I need from this? I also need the collider. Should that be done in the spell? Script. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I would have to do it from this script, like in ready.
after call connect. Let's see, what do you have? <clears throat> Area entered. One, okay. And you have area shape entered. Ah. Shape 2D. Wow, wow, wow. What's the difference? Oh, can an area have multiple shapes? No. You cannot. Oh, maybe you can, and I, I was just misreading that. Hold on. Hold your horses. I can, oh my god. Okay, that doesn't really matter for this, but it's good to know. So I want, I care about two things, area entered and body entered. Area entered means another spell hit it. Body entered means I hit like a, a real dude with a hat. Okay, so let's connect. Area entered. Right, I need actual function. What do you want? Oh, just an area? Can I do that? Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. So I'm also gonna need to keep track of, okay, and then we'll do wizard position uh, body. And then we'll connect body entered with wizard collision. Okay. So this should already happen because we're scaling the, the fireball. It did not did not scale fast enough. Oh I can just freeze it. Hold on. In place. Okay, we're getting ouches. We got two ouches. Oh, I wonder if it collided with the wall as well. Um, body is character body. Wait, hold on. I think. I only care. Oh. Can I check if it has a caster? Has. Oh, I could also do signals. I have just ignored signals in its entirety. I don't know if I need signals, to be honest. I'm literally using signals right here. Okay, what I mean to say is custom signals. Wait, can I just do... Does this work? Is this sick and twisted? Oh my god, it works. <laughs> okay, that's awful. Because then I have to name, it depends on the actual name of the variable. That's so fragile. That's nasty. Okay, maybe I don't do that. I mean, the right way is... Mm, probably check for a method, right? So if it can be damaged, to damage it. Yeah, that's probably true. Uh-huh, okay. So, where am I? Spell. 
So if body dot has method damage. Okay, that is less fragile. Ouch. Okay, you couldn't see the visual, so that was a little less interesting. There you go. Uh, okay, and then we can do if area is spell print spell collision. Okay, and let's let's make a a new spell with. A shape on it that is a soikle and we'll give it a sprite where is it? sprite uh-huh and we will make this the razor leaf and we will put the sprite at 4x scale and we will make the collision shape bigger we'll move the whole dang thing Okay, so we should get a collision. Bonk, spell collision, and they both triggered it. That is what I wanted. It is kind of weird that you can see. I guess it doesn't really matter. The fireballs are never gonna be that large. And ideally on a collision we'll have the spell that loses fade away. If it if it's gonna deal no damage anyway, we can have it just fade, um, like fade out. Okay. Cool. That works. So they both had the spell collision. So this is where we uh, check form element advantage okay let me I'm just thinking does this make sense so I think the damage will depend on what channel? No, not what channel. Because the 2x doesn't really make sense anymore to me. Because if you shoot a fireball into a wide vine, you have a 2x advantage. But that doesn't mean anything, right? One just wins over the other. So there's kind of three things that can happen. One, one spell wins over the other like a fireball versus a razor leaf. In which case the razor leaf should fade away and the fireball will continue. The second thing is they um, they match, so a fireball to a fireball, in which case they would both fade away. And the third thing is if you're weak, but we already kind of covered that. So it's really only two things that can happen but there's a 2x a 1x and a 0x on this chart how does that make make that make sense make it make sense i think i'm simply dumb i think my brain has softened into mush are there any cases where neither fades and they both continue no I don't think so I think it always either fades or one wins does that make sense so let's see a narrow cast versus a shield the narrow wins them 
But if the narrow cast, if it's like an, a fireball versus a firewall, the fireball wins because it has the form advantage. But shouldn't that do less damage than if they had blocked with a vine wall? Because the vine wall would just disintegrate. Which is what the advantage chart is supposed to show. So maybe the advantage chart is only really relevant to shields? Or maybe you can half damage if the elements match? So they don't fade away? What the heck? This is literally just rock, paper, scissors, and I'm having so much trouble with it. Also, I think that was maybe the third time I've used literally like that, and I'm not a fan of it. Reminds me of high school. Oh, you know what also I didn't think about? Is sound effects. Sound effects and music. I think I'll just not do those. And then it will be a silent game. I actually really like the look of this leaf. I think it turned out really well. Okay, let's handle a collision. So, a form advantage. This is so hard to wrap my head around. I don't know why. I feel like I should do the 9x9 nine nine diagram instead of a 3x3. Three three, where it's every pairing of element to... Yeah, let's do that. Maybe get my head in the right. I don't, know, I don't really want to do it in photo. Let's do it in... I don't know, do I have, like, Excel? <laughs> um, spreadsheet. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. Uh, get you out of here. Oh yeah, this is game dev. Um, okay. Window capture, uh, spreadsheet. Wow, so cool, okay. We will make you smaller. Oh, maybe I just make the window itself smaller. Sweet. And then we can, oh. Push you here. Maybe make it a little bigger. Go a little crazy. Okay. Oh, no. Um, what did I do? Okay, we're good. Okay, we make these red. You can tell I've used this before by my extensive knowledge. How do I make these red? Oh no. It's another sprite situation where I say this is going to take like two seconds and it takes like 30 minutes. Well, well, like an hour. Am I dumb? How do I... I think I am dumb. I clicked on that and nothing happened. Oh, okay. Also, I, really, I just found this button. I'm so sad. It's on the screen. Blue. Maybe not dark blue. And we got green. Okay, this should be. Can I adjust the width of all of these? Printer settings. Properties? Nope. Nope. Okay. Format. 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 Hmm. No, doesn't look like it. I 
I would apologize, but I don't I don't think anyone's gonna see this, so it would fall on none ears. Okay, we'll do the same here. Format painter. Okay, didn't work. That's crazy. Why didn't it work? What? Why are there so many? What the heck? Why is- oh my god. What is happening? Okay, just don't touch the fancy things. Okay, wide. Um, narrow. Add shield. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Values only. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, narrow Y shield. Narrow Y shield. Okay, an interaction between two of the same, I think will always be, they both fade. I think that is reasonable. Right, so a shield against a shield will always do nothing. Narrow against narrow, wide against, they'll always cancel each other. I think that is like a reasonable baseline. So this color means both fade. Okay, and then a wide fire versus a narrow fire. Let's take a look at the image. Wide has the advantage. So it'll disrupt it. So let's see, what is that gonna show? So we'll do, oh, what the heck? Hmm. How do I want to do this? Maybe I'll just do this for the left one wins. I kind of hate that. Maybe we'll just do like green. So green is left wins. Red is or gold is top wins. So I think it'll be reflected on the top. So I'll, I won't do the top first. So shield wins versus, what color is this? So I should record what that means. What? That wins. And then Okay, that is reasonable. So narrow versus wide. Um, the wide wins. So you would be like this. So it's the inverse. Yeah, so these will just be reflected, essentially. So I'm actually just not gonna do these. Okay, so this one, left has the type advantage. So narrow, narrow. So there's that one X advantage against a neutral form. So I think that means the one that wins should not be full power anymore, right? This I think is the, the crux of the problem. Let's say one fades away and the other doesn't. What happens to the one that wins? Is it just like win? 
and then it's good forever? Hmm. I don't know why this is giving me so much problem. Okay. So I think the spells should never get stronger after a collision. I think that is sensible. Okay, I think that's it. So if you have the 2x advantage, you don't lose anything. If you only have the 1x advantage, you lose like half damage. And if you have, and if it's neutral on both, then they both fade. Okay. So let's, let's write that down. Um, two advantage, no damage reduction, one advantage. Reduction. Um, neutral is both. This fades. And this is on behalf of neutral or negative advantage. Yeah, so each spell will take care of their own collision. Right. Okay. So this makes sense maybe i also need to encode collision somewhere which is annoying let's see does it make it easy fire is bad against water water is bad against earth wide is good against narrow Dog. Hold on. Maybe there's some cool math stuff we can do. So, fire is good against water. No. Fire is bad against water. Water is bad against earth. And earth is bad against fire. Okay. So, this should be bad against this. But it's the other way around. So, narrow should be here. Narrow is bad against wide. Wide is bad against shield. Shield is bad against narrow. Okay. So now we can just check um, like plus one to the Eno. So bar element advantage is element minus area dot element. So what does that mean? So if I'm fire, I'm zero. Oh, but earth is, no, we can't do that. Hold on. Or maybe we can. So zero minus one is negative one. One minus two, negative two. Two minus zero, yucky. Yucky. I don't like this. I don't like that it's relying on just the order in an enum. Maybe we do just the easy thing and we do advantages. And then we just do um, We just do like a lookup.
What are you? Com oh, I have the image up. Whoops. So the first one is you, and the second one is what you're up against. Okay, that is sensible. Let me swap you. Swap you. Swap you. Swap you. This is awful. <laughs> Earth. Earth. Fire. Is it even called Earth? Yes. I hate this so much. Like this, I know it'll work, but I hate it. But it's also fine, you know? this but for forms I'm hold on whoops I'm in VS code because it's uh, better for this change all occurrences okay So we'll change fire to mm, narrow, right? Yep, okay. We'll change water to wide. Aha. Uh -huh. And we'll change earth to shield. Oh, how appropriate. Great, okay. Oh, it's the inside. Okay. Wow. Okay. Didn't crash, but I also didn't call it. So. So now we can just call dot element. Elements dot how do you access <sighs> I don't use dictionaries enough. Okay, not my fault. Mm. Oh, you just use array access? What if your key isn't Integer. Is that okay? Are you going to explode? Element spell no area dot element. See, isn't that so much nicer than weird integer math? Say it's true. Say it's nicer. I think that's also the third time I've used that. I've truly run out of things. Oh, now we can check if it'll crash. Nope. Sick. We can even print the advantage. 
Um, let's print. I am. And then we'll do caster dot element dot keys dot get. How did I do it in caster? Oh, you do array access. Of course. Element. Okay. With of. Okay. So fire, what the heck? Huh? What? Are you fire? You are. Well, why did you have negative advantage? You're both narrow, right? You're wide? Why are you wide? Oh, because I swapped the positions of the enums. Okay, that's fine. Is it negative one? I'm so dumb, dude. I don't know why I can't hold this in my head. So the leaf should fade away. This is clear. So if the fire was, or if the leaf was wide, let's see what happens then. Cause then it should be an advantage of zero for both. Cause the wide would disperse the narrow, but the fire would disperse. Okay, that did what I wanted it to. Oh, yeah. So I think it is working. Okay. Let's actually put this here as well. And then it'll give me, yeah, okay. That's what I want. That's much more informative. Okay, if advantage plus than or equal to zero. Um, we'll just freaking delete it, brother. Okay, great. I know you couldn't see that, but it worked. So you'll just have to take my word for it. And then we'll do this because sometimes things break. Okay. So they both disappeared. Mm. And then uh, we'll just do one of these. So if advantage is one, we'll do a damage reduction. Great. Is that all I need to do? I think so. Okay. Great. Actually great. So that's done. We can comment this out for now. We don't need it. I realize that doing it this way with the dictionary lookup is the same as it calling a function with two inputs and doing the weird math. But I think I'm okay with this. This is more extendable because in the future, if I ever add a fourth element, 
that has weirder interactions, this will be easier to keep. I don't know if that's true. Don't quote me on that. Okay, and then we can just call damage. Uh, body dot damage. Damage. Okay. Sick. And then you will only ever collide once, right? I think that's how collision in this engine work. I mean, it, I don't, I don't know if we care if it really matters. Ouch. Uh, ouch. Okay, let's see what happens. It disappears before it hits me. Let's delete the leaf. Try that again. Two damage. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. I hate how the debug window takes so long to show up. I would record my desktop instead of the window, but I don't want to do that. Because that is terrifying. I guess it's not very scary if you're just recording instead of streaming, but uh, I don't want to go back and edit, so. I can remove the spreadsheet. Okay, let's see. So the spell script is done. It does everything it needs to. I think there's a reason to maybe delete if damage is too low. Uh, like, can a fire, should a fireball be able to punch through, like, four vine walls in a row? I mean, that literally can't happen, because you can't cast fast enough. But if you're against, like, three wizards, and they all cast wide vines, can you punch through all of them? Yeah, I don't mind that, actually. But would it punch through, like... Four razor leaves in a row? Maybe. Again, I don't know if I don't know if I mind it. Okay. Okay, now we just have to make the scenes themselves. So you don't scale. You have a hundred speed. That's way too slow you have 200 speed that's also pretty slow you have 350 speed that's quite a bit slower what about 500 yeah that's pretty good two damage fire and air okay and then you're monitoring and monitorable those don't matter. Okay. I can save you as C. Save branch as C. And then I'll make a folder for spell scenes. Fireball. Okay. Then we can delete you. Ah, now this is the annoying part. Okay. Spell. Add the child node. Collision shape. Add a child node, sprite. We'll do the firewall next. Mm -hmm. So your speed is maybe three, four hundred. Scaling over time will give you like a one. We'll have to see what that does. Damage is one, fire, and you're wide. Okay, and we'll give you the sprite of the fire. Wait a second. This is supposed to be the wide fire. I hate that. I hate that naming. Fire wave. Wave of fire. That's sick. Okay. Um, okay, let's give it the 4x scaling. Holy, 4 scaling. 
Well, a good bit. And then, well, a bit. And then, let's see what you look like. We'll give you a rectangle. Collider. Uh-huh. And then, let's see what you look like with the scaling of one. Oh, you're so fast. You don't need to be that fast. That's pretty good. We'll make it 1.5 scale. That seemed pretty good. Maybe I'll make it two, but it'll have to depend on how far away the players are. But honestly, that was pretty good. Okay, save a scene. We have a fire dot scene. That's great. Okay, next one. Spell. Collision shape. Nope. Oh, stop. Stop it. Sprite. Okay, spell. You are firewall. Collision shape. I don't know yet. Sprite. Give him a firewall. Transform of four four x scale. Move you no nope not you. Move you here. And then your hitbox is gonna be a little weird. That looks pretty nice. I don't know if you're seeing the same thing I'm seeing, but that looks pretty nice. Okay, collision shape. We can just give it a rectangle. Because we don't want it to hit the player. Although I don't know if it really matters, to be honest. That should be pretty good. Although, what if you, like, edge sideways into a, a thing? Hmm. We'll make it weird. Give me concave polygon shape and give me what six oh this is nasty oh I hate this oh I actually hate this so much ew this is ugly no stop okay I take it back just give me the, the easy one is that really that weird? Or I can just do a circle. Can I do a half circle? No. Oh wait, it's an area. I can do multiple shapes. Oh, I'm a genius. I learned that literally two hours ago. Holy cow. Collision shape. Oh my God. Using new knowledge. Holy smokes. Wow. It's revolutionary. Okay. Wow, brilliant, truly brilliant. Okay. Uh, okay, and then you can go down here. Okay, and then you will have zero speed, zero scaling, zero damage, your fire and your shield. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, and then save branch of scene, firewall, okay. And let's teach you. I realize it'll be easier to copy scenes. So let's do that. Duplicate. Ice hammer. Open it. And then we'll rename this. I don't think it matters. And then we'll give it 500 to your water. The rest of this is fine. Change the sprite to an ice hammer. Okay. Actually, change the transform too. I didn't realize that would be a problem, but I should change fireball. Send it to zero, zero. Okay. Do the same for the others. Shoot. Okay. We're probably gonna set the transform later, but you never know. Okay. 
and then we're gonna duplicate firewall and we're gonna name it ice wall except with a underscore you're really not gonna let me rename it you're gonna make me delete it all right duplicate ice wall gonna give you Up the sprite. Wow. Mm, collision should be the same, so that's fine. And then we'll do. Oh, I should have. Ah, whatever. Okay. I'll have to do wave of ice instead of ice wall. Okay. And then we change. Oh, did I? I think I forgot to set. Yeah. You are wander. Wave of ice. You are wander. Okay. You have the wide ice sprite. Okay. Great. Okay. Let's check ice hammer. Yeah, that was wander. Okay. Now just three more. Um, let's see. Ice hammer duplicates into razor. Aha. Uh -huh. There's probably an easier way to do this. Earth narrow. Change the sprite. Shweep. Okay. Change the name. Oh no, fries. Razor. Razor leaf. Okay. There is probably a better way to do this in code because I'm really changing just a few things like the sprite and the element type, whatever. I don't know how to do it, so we'll do, I guess, wave of earth, even though it's <laughs> wave of vines. Oh, no. You are earth. Wave of lines. Change your sprite. Uh huh. As the best looking sprite in the game. Actually, is, I think. This is my favorite one. By far. Okay. You are earthwide. Scaling over time is two. Okay, great. Let's. One last one, I think. Yeah, the vine wall. Duplicate vine wall. I should have named them shield. I can, but like, I don't want to. You know how it goes. Earth, okay. Vine wall, whoops. Vine wall. I like this one too. This one's pretty good. Okay, we have all nine spells. Great. So what's left? We need health bars. We need to cast the spells. That's about it, actually. And then logic to determine a winner and a loser. Okay, I need to take a quick break. So I will be back right now.